that. Yeah. Right on that. Who's this guy? Cool. It's the first time we've actually been together on an episode for a while. It has, actually. Where are we? Pickup trucks down under. Uh, yeah. Meet and greet in Sydney. We're at OxyTech over behind us. Shout out to Scotty. And uh, we have a bit of a walk around, bit of a look. Bit of a sticky beat. Talk to Scotty and talk see, to see some who others. Else we can yeah. Get to. Yeah. But yeah. Stick with us and follow on. Nick's even here. And Dan. Real. No, I've got a uh, flex piece in there. Oh, on the backside. Yeah. Hey, mate. Yeah, but they're cool. Yeah, buddy. Your hands around it. It's the finer details sometimes. Mate. Yeah, finer details. It. Look at that. How sexy is that for like teardrop? I guess exhaust. Yeah, I suppose. That's mad. Or just powder coat the whole thing. Yeah, that's what we do, mate. It's a minor detail. Yeah. It's powder coat. It's just for shits and giggles, mate. have a YouTube channel it's pretty cool so go and check it out what, what is it and just barrel brothers Barrel bros yeah yep so mark does a lot of wheel restoration um, it was his business up until recently as far as I understand still is still is yeah but just not doing customer stuff because okay I, I took that headache and threw it got, away yeah got rid of it yep so now you're just restoring wheels to no, just building building wheels that it's it sort of gone because it started off as a hobby um, and then just grew and it got all out of hand Yep. and there was a bit too much stress on it because I've got a plastics company as well basically yep. Barrel Brothers grew out of the maintenance side of that Yep. so um, I started with a mate of mine and, and we um, at the start we were just building wheels and putting them up for sale you yep. know? and um, then we started doing the custom stuff and it, it just went nuts so yep. got rid of all of that and back to just Building wheels. Yep. You know, just me now. So okay. Yeah, cool. Easy. We also need to get one of your uh, finger pointers. Oh, pointy finger. <laughs> bring any, we, we definitely need a, a pointy finger. Oh, for this. For this. This for is YouTube. just the best. Yeah. Because give I'm me got, your address. And I, I'll, I'm, I'll de I'm definitely not a hand model by any means. We've got one of those. So. So they're, they're really, they're really handy. They, they would be really <laughs> handy. For pointing. For pointing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your. Uh, Sunny, a sunny truck. truck, yeah. So uh, imported this a couple of years ago. It was originally um, sold in uh, Osaka to a Kyoto motorcycle company that used to deliver Harley Davidsons in it. Oh, really? <laughs> so it's, it's always had motorbikes in the back. Yep. But I found it uh, like after quite a bit of searching in Japan. It only had forty-nine thousand Ks on it when I bought it. It's only got like about 65 on it now, so it was in really good nick. Obviously, been spent a fair bit of its time inside. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's it just really nice. It didn't have the rust in the usual spot, sort of down in the corners there under the bonnet. So, and it, it was basically bog standard, which it still is to a certain extent. As you can see, still got a carby, still got a log manifold, and so there's plans to change all that out, isn't there? Oh yeah. 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 So there's yeah, look, it won't quite fit with the air cleaner, but it will, will fit Adjustable. with what we've planned to go on there. So we're, we're going to add some dorks to it. <laughs> so we won't tell you too much about it, but have a look at uh, Mark's YouTube channel, and he's going into what's actually going to go into here, which is pretty cool to see, or mm. will be very cool to see. Yeah, well, that, that was sort of a, a hookup with Haltech. Yep. We um, did a set of wheels for that, and the quid pro quo was they would you know, help us with the Haltech, and then... I had a set of bike throttles and an A15 for it, but then I made a mine. So we, we couldn't. This has got air conditioning standard, yep. so we couldn't figure out how to get an idle up yep. for it. 
So, and then a mate of mine said, well, why don't you go e-throttle? And I said, well, I want the dorts, yep. you know, I want the quads. Yep. And <laughs> he, probably 15 minutes later, he sent me a picture of some bike throttles that were fly-by-wire and there yep. was four of them. It was extremely so, cool, that explanation of how it's like still got a cable on it, yeah. but it's drive-by-wire, but it's... Yeah. Well, the, yeah. the, the thing, I, I had to go through a few wreckers because they couldn't, you know, they're going, it's cable. I go, no, it, it's until I, there was one guy that actually was had it in front of him. I said, right, turn it. <laughs> and the thought, are the throttles doing anything? No, right, okay, you yep, got it? exactly. But yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, so that's what's going in it. So I got back onto Howtech and said, yeah, could we, if I, you know, can we do this? And, and uh, Richard over there is really cool and Scotty. Yep. Um, Said yeah, but they were really interested in it too. We taken a bog standard engine yep. and just um, with bolt-ons doing, you know, changing it to a fly-by-wire. We've got a, uh, a crank angle sensor instead of the yep. uh, dizzy now. So yeah, we're going all like that in fuel injected, and they're really interested to see. Well, okay, what can we get? What can we do? Yeah. So, so it's, it's actually going on the dyno as it is later run this a ba week. Baseline on it this week. And yep. I've That's got awesome. I've got 32 kilowatts of the wheels in the pool. Yep. 26 Ooh. with the air conditioning on. <laughs> that sounds like a contest we could have there. What do we reckon John's going to pull out of the big the big block? Is it A12 or A15? No, it's A12. an A12. It's an A12. Yeah. Bog standard A12. Yep. So John was going 36. This is Mark, Mark. Sorry. Yeah. Mark. I'm going, I'm going 32. I reckon 32, 32 kilowatts. I reckon this is solid. 28 in there. 28? 28 kilowatts. It's, it's, it's not fast. I'll go 54. This is supposed to be fast. It's not fast. <laughs> 54? Like it, even, yeah. Woo! Lucky, lucky number. Let's go. Even even afterwards, it, like, it's not going to be fast. It's going to sound really good. That's amazing. But it's not going to be fast. Yeah. Well, it's an awesome view, mate. Mm. It's oh, a, I like it. It's a, it's a lot funner to drive slow cars fast than fast cars slow. I, yeah, yeah. The, uh, like the, the big thing with these, and I'll just do that. Big thing with these is to rip that out and put in an SR20 or a CA18. 100%. You know, but these sound brilliant. Yep. You know, they're not fast and it's just fun. You can beat the shit out of them and that's just how they go. That's you know? how they go. You know, these standard will rev to about eight grand. And it'll sound pretty good at eight grand. Mm. Especially uh, six, with it. Six about good. Yeah. Individual throttle bodies. Yeah, well, that's right. That'll be a nice induction noise. But yeah. All right, mate. Well, thank you for showing us, and thanks for telling us about your YouTube channel. No worries at all. Make sure you check it out, guys. Check out the sunny truck. No, nah, five minutes. Two hours later, you're yeah. on the phone. And you're like, oh. It's five minutes and one take with us. It doesn't happen in one yeah. take. It doesn't I am known as one take, Aaron. Yeah. All right. yeah one take, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with Aaron Gregory, who is Memphis Help yep. on Instagram. If you want to check him out. And we're looking at the 51 Rodeo. No, it's, it's a nice shaped Rodeo that they have. Yeah, it's a good shaped Rodeo. Japanese yeah. were good at it. I didn't know they came with a bunch of bananas in there. Well, you've got to get hungry and get the potassium up. So here we are. <laughs> so give us a rundown on what Memphis Hell is. So, well, as in the car? Well, or give, the us, shop. Give, give us the car first and then the shop. Okay, so uh, the car started off as a, just a budget basher. I got a 89 Honda Rodeo for 200 bucks. I got a, a, a VP, BT1 for 2000 bucks. Which is worth a lot of money now. So that's <laughs> so yeah. So it's a Holden Rodeo chassis. It's got had the, the VP, five liter turbo seven hundred, Ford Warner, tower shaft, everything, fuel tank, a lot. And I got the Chev for fifteen hundred bucks um, from Latrobe Valley Way. Sent the Chevrolet stuff off to be sandblasted. It came back minus the lower ten inches. Floor was gone. Bottom half of doors were gone. So the Rodeo was still good. So. The cab then got the Rodeo floor, firewall, um, which meant pedals, steering, 
seats, seat belts, everything went in, engineered, tick, 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 burst proof locks, everything from the day went into the Chev cab. Um, then obviously had to then make inner fenders and the tub and everything suit from there. So I really started off as a, as a budget build. I had a, a bed on with a couple of mates that I'd build the whole thing for less than 10 grand and it's probably got more than 10 grand worth of paint on the thing now, let alone anything else that went into it. Um, yeah, and so yeah, Holden 5 litre, it's now injected. Uh, again, that's been through a few different realms when it was first done. It was on it's gas. It's been through a few different realms. Oh yeah, so body adjustments. Yeah, you said the high tub with the big rolled out tailgate, and that was probably a rough job back in the day. So they went a lower tub, and then they look a bit goofy with the full high roof. So then uh, two years ago, I chopped the roof off it, and I went to a track day, so I had to look at the World Time Attack car, and then I went to a hot rod show, so it's got to look at a hot rod again. And so. I don't have the time or money to build new cars, so I'll just keep chopping this thing up and That's make cool. it do what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. So the reason why you don't have time to build new cars is because you're building everyone else's? I do build everyone else's cars, so when it gets to the... It's like a chef who eats two minute noodles. Once he's, once he's finished cooking for everyone else, he's not going to come home and cook himself a steak. So when I get home, I don't want to work on cars as much either, so... That's Even though I do... Yeah, yeah, very much so. <laughs> so what, what big projects have you got in the shop at the moment? Without um, letting too much Too much. Well, uh, the the, the, the uh, HT Kingswood that was on the cover of Street Machine about yep. five years ago. Bare metal one. Bare metal one. It, it was in paint jar for a, a, a long, long time. I've only got it back, so it's now in final assembly. Um, it'll be done when it's done. There's no time yep. frames. Yep. Um, I've got, a, like. I've got a, a pretty hefty wait list of, of cars. Uh, I don't know. There's the, the LSA 53 with the sequential. There's the yep. there's a 51 Chevy. There's a 50 Chevy. There's a 56 Apache. Yeah, there's lots of cars coming and going, and as everyone in the industry knows at the moment, you can't keep up. There's too many cars wanting to build them. There is fabricators to build them. So there is fabricators to build them. Yes. I build cars. If you've got time and money. Yeah, if you've got time and money. <laughs> the second one being more important. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> but I think we're at a good time. Like I've I've been building cars for. Shit, 12 years now, and I was always one of those things we'd charge 50 bucks an hour. And you were hoping, gee, oh, it'd, be, it'd be a dream one day if someone rang saying, I've got a hundred thousand dollars to spend. Yep, yep. Now, these days, you find most fabrication shops won't even look at you if you got less than 100k to spend. Yes, yeah, we're finally charging a good hourly rate. And I think it's fabricators have finally found their time where we can actually charge what we're worth. I think, I, think, I hope the, the dying art is coming back. I think Hopefully. so, yeah, yeah, the whole you know bespoke custom we want something different to the other guy you can go spend 500k on a lamborghini but then so can 10 other guys where you want a 50s car the rods and handles like a fifth five hundred thousand dollar lamborghini but it looks like nothing else anyone else ever has then that's a bit cool yeah, yeah absolutely yeah absolutely so what's have, any plans any changes yes yeah, so i've got uh, it's always been the, the five liter which was probably tied when i first went in um i've got an ls ready to go in it um, I've got an IRS ready to go in it. Universal aluminium block. Is that what you call them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. They fit in everything right. these days. They do fit in everything these days. Um, hair dryer and things like that. IRS. So I built that C10, finished off that C10 for Gary, Showtime C10. Yep. The, a very bad day for this was when I did a lap around Bathurst with Gary and that during the Bathurst 1000. And <laughs> while this looks like a go around a track day, I actually did a track day and I realised how far off this thing was, so it doesn't handle like that. A fast so car goes straight, a fast driver goes around corners apparently, so I want to go faster around corners, so yeah, yep. it's, um, the, the car's always been rushed, I don't, I don't have time to spend bulk time and coin on my own car, but I'm yep. going to pull it off the road, hopefully towards the end of this year and actually do it properly. Awesome, yeah. man. Set so, well, so up the suspension around corners. Yeah. See if you can really put it in that time attack yeah, delivery purpose. Actually, yeah. actually, not look like a fuckwit. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, man. No worries, dude. And, uh, Good to see you. Hope you enjoyed yourself today. It was awesome. It's been a thanks, great day. Organising the show. That's all right. Great Hope day. you enjoyed yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See you, man.
All right. Well, we're here with John from Pickup Trucks Down Under. So, what is Pickup Trucks Down Under? That's a good question. It was just, I guess, an idea that started um, a long, long time ago. I owned a uh, 1955 Chevy pickup, and what I sort of... Not quite that one. <laughs> no, not quite that one, and it sort of just started with an idea. I thought, well, there wasn't really a big truck community, so I um, started an Instagram page called Pickup Trucks Down Under and, and put one post up, and then I think we're now at sort of 15,000-odd followers or thereabouts. And it's just really an idea or a, or a brand and just trying to get some people together. And, and I think it's probably grown on the last sort of 12 months. Yeah. I think it's worked really well. I think it has, yeah. So exactly. this is theoretically your third show you put on, isn't it? Second. Second show. So he's Second physical. Yes. Third overall. Yes, yeah, exactly. I did an online show, I think, during COVID. Yes. Yeah, so and that's when I sort of started off. Oh, maybe this would be a, a good idea to do something in person. Yep. And uh, we started one in Melbourne a few months ago. We had 60 registrations and suddenly that doubled on the day and we ended up with, you know, 100 plus trucks and we were blown away. And then uh, a lot of people from Sydney sort of reached out and this is where we are today. Yep. So we're actually at Oxytech, which is cool. So Scotty actually owns this one, who owns Oxytech. So we might try and get an interview with him if he wants to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scotty was nice enough. I reached out to him. Um, and he said, yeah, I'm happy to host it at my facility. And yeah, we packed out the car park. I think it was a really good result for yep. the day. It was yeah. packed out. So you got a heap of merch as well? Yep. So shirts, quite a few designs. Yeah, we're just <laughs> trying to expand on that as time goes on because, you know, people might have a Dodge or something. I haven't done that yet. Yep. And I'm getting hassled about it. So it's Dodgers. Something, yes, Dodgers. Shout out international, to Spargos. Shout out to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I need to get on top of that. So yeah. I need to um, get something sorted. So don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll get you sorted yeah, in the near future. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Scotty's like, Shh. cool. All right. Well, thank you for the show. No, no. Thank, thank you. Awesome thank you yeah, for um, coming come down up. and filming as well, too. So no hopefully we just keep getting bigger and better. And, and then, yeah, we just build on the brand a little bit yep. and it, it should be good. We got a couple of banners to put up in the shed. Beautiful. So that'll that's be, even that'll, better. That'll be in the back of a few episodes coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, perfect. No, thank you for repping the brand as well. That's awesome. No worries at all. Thank you. No Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. Cheers. See you later. There's no oil under it? There's no oil in it? No, oh, there was oil under it. Yeah, we're good, eh? You good? Hold on, let's just dip it once more. Chad couldn't believe that it was a fresh rebuild with the amount of oil that was left in the car park when you left. Oh, uh, cool. Perfect, ready to run. Seeming fresh. What's the code word this week? You love when I put you on the spot for it. Pick up trucks, obviously. So that was pick up trucks down under. Pick up trucks down under. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Like on the Instagram. Hit the bell thing. Hit the notifications. And um, we'll see you on a future episode of Backyard Bills. Yeah, good luck with the Bonnet's closed. See ya. Come on. Uh, oh, I found it. Hey, mate. What's going on here? Nothing. Just checking the fluid. It's all on the tailgate. It's all down the side of the block. It's all down this side. I'm not sure where it's coming from. That's a hell of a leak there, and you might have to stop. Yeah. We're we right. We're right. Yeah, now we're. It's got oil in it now. We got real loud a second ago and we pulled oh. over, put all the oil we had in, drive it home. No worries. That'll be right.